<laughs> Hello and welcome to a new weekly vlog. It is Tuesday mm -hmm. and uh, Matt's not feeling very I've well had a today. Migraine. He's yeah. had a migraine. Uh, so we're picking up really where we left off in the last weekly vlog, but we have nothing in for our dinner. So we're going to the fish and chip shop and we're going to have a chippy tea. You've seen it before, but here is the chip shop. And we are home from the chip shop. We are going to eat it very, very soon. But at the chip shop, we bumped into someone who watches our videos. And as soon as we finished, I could have smacked myself because we didn't get his name. Um, so hello, whoever you are. <laughs> you know who you are. So hello, and it was really lovely to meet you. Um, and I know you've got a selfie to send to your wife, so hello to, uh, to her as well. Right, let's go and eat some chips. Hello and welcome to a very sunny, what's turned out to be a very sunny Wednesday. Let's go and take a look in the garden. Right, it's about 3pm in the afternoon. What a day. What a day. Here I am. Barely. I'm barely here. There we go. So I'll just tell you about today. Uh, oh, by the way, I will. There's Bo underneath the table, oh, right over there. This is the mat that goes underneath the cat tray that's in the hallway. Last night, I realised that one of the cats had weed on it, so I've just washed it and put it outside to dry. That's the first thing. So, what's happened for my horrendous morning? Well, we had the flooring man back this morning just to make one little tiny alteration by our front door, uh, which he did. Um, but I was up at seven and I didn't really get that much sleep. So I was a bit grumpy. Then I went back to bed and I just kept getting woken up. And then I was just really grumpy. So, you know, like when you're so tired that you have like a really fuzzy head. I had that. Anyway, I'm up, I'm showered. I do feel better, but I do still feel a little bit lightheaded. Um, a bit hazy, a bit foggy, shall we say. Then I was doing technical things, sorting out my old phone. Um... Bo's enjoying the grass and probably the catnip. No, he's enjoying the catnip, I think. Um, no, a bit of the, yeah, a bit of the catnip. That's what he's munching. In fact, we've had a bit of a flourish on the catnip. So I was sorting out the phone, trying to reset it so that we can now have a work phone with a new work number. Um, so all that's been going on and I hate doing technological things. I just really hate it. So anyway, Matt's working. Um, there's some nice butterflies. Look on the buddleia. It's nice to have a little bit of sun back up, but it not being too hot either. That's the key. I like the sunshine, but not too much heat. They look, we've had so many butterflies this year. So many. So I'm really, really glad. I think that shows a healthy sign of the garden. I did try and prop this up, but it's kind of flopped a little bit. Anyway, I'll have to do that again. And because of all the rain we've had, we've had lots of shedding. So I've got lots of dead heading to do, to catch up on. Um, this is what Matt's mum and dad's towel that is finally drying. But actually, we've got so many butterflies. They're all over the place. So I need to do some dead heading today. Might actually be a good day to try and tackle the grass. The lawn needs a really good cut. And I'm not looking forward to it, but it might be the day to finally get it done. Matt's got a delivery and unboxing. I have been business shopping. Yeah, so they're from Amazon. Some locked boxes. Yeah, it's so that when we've got keys, we've actually got some um, some locked boxes mm. to put the keys in. To go with the keys, 100 key tags. Yay. So we can write on what addresses they're going to. Yeah, well, they're quite handy. In code. Yeah, in code. You don't want to, you know, lose some no. key in them. What and else do we also have? also a laser measurer. Ooh, so we can do the measuring up the rooms. Mm. That'll be handy. And we've <laughs> got um, oh, Rory eating some of the fish food. Hello and welcome to Friday. So I've just been to the greenhouse and finally picked some red peppers. There was two red ones and a green one. Um, and I think there is still some trying to grow. I don't, I'm not very hopeful, but there is a couple trying to grow. These were some tomatoes I picked the other day, and we've got two new big cucumbers. So there you go, quite a nice harvest. Hello, it is still Friday, and we've been shopping to... Have you told people about my struggle? No. No, well, Monday when we had that soup, I managed to throw my back out. 
eating soup. Yeah, I think you were lent over a little mm. bit funny and you've pulled your back. Yes, and now I can't do a lot with my back. And every time I take a deep breath in, it feels like I'm winding myself. Yeah, we tried hot water really bottles, good. we tried massaging it, and it's nothing seems to have worked. So I know. You might need a chiropractor. Mm, maybe you just need to walk on my back. <laughs> we can try that later. Um, so anyway, we were saying in the car, we think it's been a bit of a boring week this yeah. week. We haven't gone anywhere, which has actually been quite welcome for us, but it's a little bit boring for you guys. Uh, come on then, jump up. Come on then, jump. Come on then, quick. Bye-bye. You've had your food today. Um, so it's a, I think it's a bit of a boring yeah. week, uh, but yesterday we did go out to a pub quiz, didn't we? We, we did. did quite well. We came, what? Third, I think. Third, but we think the team that won were cheating by Googling. Yeah. Anyway, Definitely. let's see what we've got in the bag. Milk, because we drink lots of tea and coffee and it kind of goes. <laughs> Oat milk, because Matt's intolerant to casein. Um, some cream, because there's something coming to have the cream with, well... For Maureen, anyway. So we've got a meal deal because, just because, tuna, sweet corn and prawn baguette. Two of those, chocolate protein yogurts, a Lucasade and a Capella Cloudy Apple. Some face pads, top tip, buy them from the baby section, they're cheaper. Um, and a reduced lemon cheesecake. This is why we've got the cream. Um, so it was £3.89. I would not have paid that full price. £2.33, not so bad. So we're going to have that. And it definitely probably will be used by the 15th. Oh, yes. Well, no, the 15th is today. Uh, oh, yeah. we've got to eat it all today. No, it'll be fine for tomorrow as well. We'll split it in half and have um, <laughs> and have it like that. Anyway, let me show you outside today. So I think there was some rain overnight. I keep wanting... Oh, hello, Molly. I keep wanting to mow the grass, but it's always damp. Um, but I think I'm going to have to just take the plunge or else it will be very very difficult to cut and like i said we've done a bit more of a harvest so anyway the garden is winding down um eventually that tea towel will dry uh, <laughs> i keep leaving it out and then it keeps on getting wet so i think there may be a few more flourishes of roses and a few flowers but other than that i think it's time to start winding down the garden and putting it to bed there we go it's the afternoon and i decided to spend a good hour outside just doing a little bit of tidying up that I've not been able to do because we've been so busy over the past week. So I finally mowed the lawn. Yes, it's not exactly crown green bowling <laughs> bowling green standard. Um, I did. I normally do it on the highest setting, so I just kind of. But I got two of the big buckets of grass from the front and the back lawn, so it's looking a lot neater and tidier. Also, I've done some dead heading. I've caught up on my dead heading of the roses. I've also pulled up any of the larger weeds that were in the beds, um, so that looks a bit better. I've still got to do all the little small ones, all the fiddly ones, uh, but they can keep for another day, I think. In a minute, I'm going to go for a coffee <laughs> in the house. I've also tidied up the bush here. If you remember, that was the one that had gone overgrown um, and it how all the flower heads had died off. So I've cut that back down. I think I've done it correctly. Um, I've cut it back down to where we can see some new growth. So hopefully that will overwinter. I still need to take up the ones that I don't want. Um, and we've still got a bit of a mess situation going on over here. But other than that, it's not actually too bad. And I think it looks a lot better than it did before I mowed the lawn. So I'm not quite sure how many lawn mowing cuts we'll be able to do before the grass stops growing. Um, but I might try and take it down a little bit lower than what I've done now, ready for overwintering. So on the final cut, I'll do it on the higher setting. Then I'll do another pass over on the medium. Um, and I don't think I'll do the lowest setting. But anyway, the cats like to kind of jump in the grass. But these are doing really well. Just look at these. Aren't they magnificent? Yes, indeed they are. And we are back with another shopping haul. It is Saturday and we've just been to Morrison's. So what have we got today? We, Maureen's well, got some donuts. Maureen fancied some five strawberry donuts. Not one, two, three or four, five. And three bars of chocolate. Oh, she, well, see these are like the 40 pence bar of the chocolate. So Maureen says that they are very handy for when she's feeling like she's got cravings, you know. She also wanted two boxes of brownie. She did, she did also want two double chocolate brownie bites. She needs some bleach for her toilet as well, because it's often getting, um, you know, in a bit of a way. Some fly and waffle. Now, I don't normally like fly and waffle, but we've had some really annoying ones. So just a little squirt. 
well away from the cats. Um, some seasonings, onion, salt and garlic pepper, some pasta, some, these were quite good. Three pound 40 something in Morrison's for three. They're kind of like the fake Reginas. We've had them before, I think, and they are okay. And they, they were cheap, so. And, oh my goodness, there is a shortage of deodorant. The men's and the women's. So we went to the women's section and got this, which is kind of similar to what we have. Not quite the same, but we'll try it. Uh, we got some... Uh, no, we got some roast chicken stuffing uh, for lunches with um, some bread rolls. And for today's lunch, some reduced uh, ultimate pork sausage roll. I have no idea what's so ultimate about it, but we're going to give it a go. There we are. And Matt is cooking dinner. What are we having today? We're having some kind of red wine chicken sauce with pasta. There we go. So Matt's cooking some chicken, or cutting some chicken, I should say, and cooking it as well. Um, but we decided there's enough chicken for two meals, so we're only going to do half. And um, we also forgot at the supermarket to get a can of, can of pinned tomatoes. So I've just been out to the garden and picked a few more. So we're going to use garden tomatoes instead of a tin of tomatoes. So that's okay. That's absolutely fine. So frying off some onions and pepper. The pepper is from the garden. There's some pasta on the go. Maybe and onions. next year we could do a raised bed and do some onions or something. Do in some it. Like we all mm. use onions. We all use mushrooms. Can you grow mushrooms? Like the right kind of mushrooms? I think so, possibly. We can try. We can investigate. <laughs> so I'd like that. Yeah. The main things we use are peppers, onions and mushrooms, so we I can mean, grow our own. Yeah, I would like to do some sort of vegetables like in the garden next year as well, yeah. which might be nice. So, is the chicken going? No, let's um, go and see outside, because it's been a bit wet again this afternoon. It's not been as nice. I mean, I know it's literally about quarter past seven in, in the evening. It's grey, it's been grey all day, it's not been very nice. Uh, so we've just kind of been relaxing apart from going out to the supermarket. So anyway, that's all that's going on. Sorry there's not a lot else to be showing you. Bo's chasing something over there in the corner. Um, we'll check back with you later to see how the dinner is going. Yeah, Matt's using up some of our ham. Uh, we've got a pack of ham left that was almost out of date, but not quite. So we decided, seeing as we bought some turkey today for our lunches in the chicken. week. Chicken, with it chicken and stuffing? Yes. Chicken is, why do I have turkey in my head? Uh, so little pieces of the ham being chopped up yeah. and then added to the chicken and ham. Yeah. There we go. It's now time for the... Red wine. I have no idea how much I'm putting in, so we'll see. No. Oops. There. There we go. It'll add some juice. Yeah, we'll probably put some more in if we need to. Yeah, which one is it? I don't even know which one it's it is. It's a Bordeaux. It is a Bordeaux 2012. There we go. That just stirs in. And here it is, all complete. Look Hope at that gorgeous. Right. It smells gorgeous, so I'm sure it will taste been a bit of a delicious. <laughs> what can I replace tomatoes with? Yeah, we didn't have the puree, either, did we? No, that's right. To use tomato ketchup. Anyway, it's I'm sure it's stuff. it'll be lovely. Hello, it is Sunday, and Matt's having a shower. It's it's very grey outside. Um, and like I say, it's been one of those weeks where just nothing's happened. And we've been quite glad of the fact that not a lot has happened, <laughs> seeing as we were a little bit stressy last week with a lot going on. It's been quite nice just to have a week of kind of catching up with ourselves, although we have still had things to do worky wise behind the scenes. So I said this morning, right, let's get ourselves showered. I've had a shower. Uh, Matt's just doing it. Let's get ourselves showered. Let's go for a walk in our local area just to get out, just to see something a little bit different. A leisurely walk, I think, will do us the power of good, to be quite honest. Um, so that's what we're going to do in a moment. Of course, we'll take you along with us. And then I'm thinking for like a lazy Sunday, autumnal vibe. I'm feeling the autumnal vibes. There's already Christmas things in the stores, like literally full on. Last week it was, or the week before, it was mince pies. Now it's at you, there, there's Stollen, there's all the Christmas boxes of roses and chocolates and things. Um, there's fruit cakes. It's all happening in the UK, literally, uh, September. Um, so autumnal vibes, I think I might make a chocolate cake, but a chocolate loaf cake. Hopefully it will go a lot better than my sponge cake, because that was a complete disaster. But anyway, 
I need to water the greenhouse. Like I say, I've done the lawns this week, so that's all okay. I found out we've got a little toad living in the garden. He keeps hopping out at night time, trying to get all the nighttime worms and things and bugs. Uh, so we've got a lovely little toad. I don't know what to call the toad. What should we call the toad? <laughs> Do let me know. Right, so we are out for our walk and here is our local pool. There's a fisherman fishing. It looks really calm and still today. It's actually really, really nice. Just look at that. If I put it on the normal zoom, there we go. Looking really good. It's just nice to get out and see something a little bit different. Uh, we were talking about all year round Christmas trees. Um, do you have a Christmas tree that you change for autumn decorations, <laughs> then Easter. Christmas, then Easter, Valentine's Day? Oh. Oh, um, and then you could do a summer tree. Let me know. Do you? Oh, there's a big fish over there. Something bubbled in the water. I think. I don't think it was the fisherman's line. That's too far. Wow. Um, so yeah, this is the pool. Right close to where we live, and it's um, it's just really peaceful and calm and lovely. And then we'll go and see the trains because it's Sunday. There might be trains out. Oh yeah. Let's go see the trains. So this is the old wall that's kind of been built up to protect the pool or protect people from the pool. And you can see where it would have been a much lower level. Uh, those are the old bricks and those are the new bricks. So if I stand back, you can see the contrast between where the wall would have been. There we go. We're by the local steam railway. You can see that there's lots of trains going on. Uh, and right behind us, there's a big old engine. So here is the big old engine house, otherwise affectionately known locally as the Loco Shed. Walking down this lane, mind the horse. We've just, we've just seen a pony in a field, but we couldn't quite quite capture it. Um, I could do with that for the roses. You could. Oh, I'm going to send you out with a shovel. Me? And a bag. Me? Yes. <laughs> to help the roses grow. Yeah, we're now walking down a little um, lane. And there is a new bollard in the middle, Matt's just noticed, and apparently it's going to have a fluorescent strip put on it Ooh. so people can see it at night time. Ooh. Well, I don't know how I feel about it because I saw the post. It was a local councillor that made the post. And I thought to myself, it's not a fluorescent strip on it. Although useful, it's not very in keeping with the village. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a traditionalist and um, why not just put a white strip on it or something? rather than a fluorescent strip. It just kind of, it takes you out of the rural moment. And we all like to be in the rural moment, unless, don't we? Unless it's wet and sticky. Um, yes, unless it's wet and sticky. Uh, but this path is okay. So we made it out of a little side lane and we're going down where we walked back uh, one night from a friend's house for dinner. Yes. And we met a cat and the cat followed us all the way down the road. To the main road and then she knew to turn away. Yeah, she was really fluffy and we called her Penelope. And <laughs> we haven't seen her since, have we? No. No, I miss Penelope. Right, we're going to take the pool way back to our house. So this path they put in about a year ago, a year and a half yeah. ago. It used to be a muddy mess and it's now a much better path so people can access it. So wheelchairs, pushchairs, all of it can go on. This is classed as our village green where some of the Scarecrow Festival was. And we might be able to go and see some ducks. And here is the pool from a different view. I was hoping to see some ducks, uh, but they, they are right over there. <laughs> uh, so we walked, when that wall, when I showed you the wall, we were all the way over there. You can just about see the wall if I zoom in, there is the wall. And if I zoom out, you get to see the whole view of what we can see here. Uh, I think the ducks have seen us, they're on their way. But unfortunately we don't have anything for them because Years ago, they said, don't feed them bread, feed them oats and things. Um, but then I think there was a decline in people feeding them. Yeah. Um, because people basically couldn't afford the oats. So, um, it's a debate whether or not we should be feeding them bread or oats. Oats are probably better and healthier. Um, here they are. Look at them. Hello, my darlings. I love ducks. I think a duck might be my spirit animal. Please let me know in the comment section below, what is your spirit animal? Well, there we go. We'll test out our times three zoom. Oh, look at them. Hello, duckies. 
And now we're coming up to, there's two bridges and it was this bridge. When I was young, my nan used to walk me down here and she used to tell me that there was a troll that lived under the bridge. And I used to, she used to say, it's coming, it's coming, he's coming, I'm gonna get you. And I used to run across the bridge <laughs> in fear of the troll. Uh, <laughs> so there's like a little brook that kind of runs underneath it that feeds into the big main pool. And it has recently been dredged. So literally last year you could not, the water couldn't row freely around what is technically an island. Um, so it's now all been cleared and the water can flow, but it still needs redredging apparently. Hi everybody, so after the walk, I have decided to actually make the chocolate cake. We are going to be using, which we're cheating a little bit, we're going to be using this Morrison's chocolate sponge mix. And basically all you need are two medium eggs, 120 millilitres of uh, water, which is also eight tablespoons. Um, and that's what you do. So all I'm going to do is sieve this into the mixing bowl of the mixer. I'll add in the two eggs once I've made a well. And I'm also going to mix in some of these chocolate chips. But I'm not going to make it as a round cake. I'm going to make it as a loaf cake. Also, the oven needs to be on uh, 160 degrees fan. Uh, so I'm preheating, I'll get mixing and then we're going to make a cake. Now as you know my last cake was an absolute disaster <laughs> because I didn't have in the round cake tin, I didn't have my liners whereas in the loaf tin, in fact I still need to buy some round cake tin liners, but I use these liners, they, they go in here like this and then when you pour the mixture in it's so much easier to just take them out and you can put them anywhere to cool. So I shouldn't have the same problem as last time. Anyway, let's get sieving. Right, now it's time to add the eggs. It does say medium eggs. These are medium eggs, but they look quite small. So I'm, I don't think I should add an extra one. I'm gonna stick to, I'm not gonna go off piece. Uh, I think it will pay, pay not to go off piece. And these eggs are room temperature because um, they have to be room temperature. So there we go. Eggs are cracked. So what I'm going to do now is add the water. And I'm going to add in the 120 mils of water. I'm going to put it all in one go because it doesn't say to do it separately. And then I will add the chocolate chips in as it's mixing. So let's get this in first. We'll lock that in place so it doesn't go flop. By the way, the Bake Off's starting soon. I'm not quite sure what date it starts, but it's very, very, very soon. Um, so I can't wait to see Alison Hammond in the Bake Off. Right, let's close this lid and get mixing. So I'll put it on a low setting first and then we'll crank it up a bit. Chocolate chips going in. And there we have it all mixed. It says on the packet for 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. Uh, I think I'll put it on the 25. So let's get this in the cake tin and then in the oven. See the scavenger in the time lapse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that makes> me. <laughs> Have I missed some of the chocolate chips? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Anyway, it's all in here, so I'm now going to set my timer for 25 minutes and then come back when it's done. Right, so it's been 25 minutes and I've just taken the cake out and I did the knife test. I think those timings are for if you're doing a round cake tin rather than a thicker loaf tin. It had risen, but it definitely wasn't cooked in the middle. So I put it back in for another 10 minutes. We'll take it out then and see how we're going. It's been 10 minutes and I've tried it again. <laughs> I think we're going to need another 10 minutes. It's a really thick loaf tin. Okay, let's try the prick test again. Yes, it's done. Brilliant. Okay. So there we have it, it is done. We are having the dumpling top steak pie for dinner and we're having it with a nice big pan of veg and some chips. Chips, not so healthy chips, but we are having some oven chips. 
but we're going to do those in the air fryer, so that'll be nice. Um, and then, what are we having tomorrow? Some pasta, we think, tomorrow? Yes, we're going to remember to get the tin of tomatoes. Because we forgot that last time. Yeah. Um, update, the ladies' deodorant, what do you think of it? I've used it. I've used it, and it's got a slightly different scent. Uh, it's a bit more of a light scent, I would say, but it still works exactly the same as the men's. I'm sure an armpit is an armpit. Yes. Ooh, the pie is coming out of the oven. Here's our nice steamy veg. So with pie and gravy, we always have the Worcester sauce. Uh, this is the Morrison's own. I can't taste any difference between that and the named brands. But anyway, uh, and I also really enjoy my white pepper again, Morrison's. Oh, there's the pie. So I've now got to chop it in a half and serve. And there it is before the gravy goes on. Okay. Uh, that's pepper, is by the way. Is this going to be too thick for you? Um, Matt likes it really thick. Mm. Uh, no, we'll go for it. Do you want it everywhere? Yeah. That's too thick for no. me. No! <laughs> I love it. I love thick gravy. Well, that's very thick. But anyway, there it is. It's all done. Let's go and eat some dinner. Right, so I put the cake in this little container uh, and I've already had a slice last night and maybe a little bit today as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really moist considering it was in the oven for all that time. The chocolate chips are evenly distributed and it's just done really, really well. So I'm happy and pleased with that. Did I show you Rory's cooling mats? When Ma uh, Matt's mom and dad came to stay, they bought one of these cooling mats and it is actually for dogs supposed to be. And this is where Rory sits. So we have, we have had it there. When you touch it, it does actually feel cool. So it's kind of filled with like a gel. So it's worse. Rory does actually sit on it. So there we go. So what's been happening today? Well, I've been working. By the way, if you didn't know, it's Monday. Welcome to Monday. <laughs> and um, I've been working. I've filmed a Royal Reviewer video, I've edited the vlog that you're watching now, apart from the bit I'm filming now. I'll edit that in a little while. Um, we've still got that towel outside. Every time I leave it out to dry, the rain comes and it's just ruined. So it's been out for over a week now. Anyway, we've had some rain. Uh, the garden really is, there's this kind of autumnal crispiness to the air. It's definitely on its way. I definitely feel like we've got autumnal vibes coming. It's getting cooler. I think that kind of that heat wave is now going. You can see the trees are beginning to change colour. They're starting to go a little bit yellow. Um, the grass seems to be slowing down in terms of how fast it's growing, although I will need to give it, I think, a couple of more cuts before it's done for the um, summer for this year. The all these plants that I put in the pots are doing really well and I will leave them in for as long as they're doing well. You can see however all the bulbs, the spring bulbs, are coming through already but I shall leave these in for as long as I possibly can. They are looking really really gorgeous and very very full so I'm, I've got no objections to leaving them in. In fact we've got a second flourish on this um, fuchsia. So these, again, these are later flowering than what they would normally be because I put them in late. Greenhouse is doing really well. Still have massive tomato harvest. Matt said yesterday, they're still coming. What if they still come? Well, eventually, even if we do have new tomatoes coming, eventually the weather will be so kind of cold. I mean, we won't have the sun to ripen them. So at some point, I'm going to have to wind down the greenhouse for the winter, but not yet. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. Um, so there we are. That's kind of the garden. We didn't have any flowers or any tufts on on this grass this year. I'm hoping we'll get that next year. I think I've said that before, but I'll say it again. The rose walk. We still have some roses coming. Uh, this one is morning mist. Looking very gorgeous there. Uh, we've got a, a big... <laughs> it didn't really work. I tried to pin it back and it didn't work. It kind of flopped over again. So I need to do something with that a little bit later. But everything's, you know, it's, it's as you would expect for this time of year. Although we have had, hello Molly, we have had a fresh flourish on this lupin. Just look at that. Hello my gorgeous. And we did eventually, I think I've showed you before, but we did eventually get some sweet peas. But because they're late, they haven't gone as good as what they would have done. 
So what I'm going to do is leave these in situ and see if they come back next year, like the ones down there did. They might, who knows? I'll leave them in, it's an experiment. Now, this little lady, Molly, has been going around the house screaming and we haven't worked out why. We've fed her, we've petted her, we've given her legs to sit on. I just think she's being a bossy girl. Maybe she's not liking the weather change. I'm still waiting for my Royal Reviewer video to upload. It's quite a big file. It's a 40, it's a 40, 40 something minutes, 38 minute video. So it's quite a long one. You can see the, um, the tinted lenses in my glasses. So whenever I go outside, they, the transition lenses come in. So I'll just come inside from being outside and they're still dark. Uh, they will gradually change back and adjust to the light. So my parents are back off holiday tomorrow. If you didn't know, they have been away in Turkey. I've kept all their plants indoor and out watered, although we haven't really had to water outside. I only had to water outside once because we've just had rain. So it was mostly the indoor plants that I've kept alive. Um, so I need to get some, we need to go to the shops to get some food for the next few days for us. But I also need to get a milk for when my mom returns tomorrow, because like any Brit, she'll want a cup of tea and my dad as well. So I need to get some milk for them. Um, and that's kind of it. And I've also got to do a few jobs for the community group that I'm a member of. I've got to do a few admin jobs. So it's all going on. Um, so let's get to it. Well, that's all the jobs done for today. I've been to, well, we've been to Morrison's. Then we dropped my mum's milk off. Matt's got a bad ear. Mm. So Matt had to buy some Otex for his ear. So we've got some provisions for the next few days. We bought some reduced steak slices. I think people's shopping habits have changed because gone are the days when, I mean, how many people now do a full weekly shop? I don't think many people I know do a full weekly shop. Most people got some, some nice fish fillets. Uh, most people now, I think, go every couple of days and buy what they need for the couple of days, which doesn't really do good for some baked potatoes. I really want some baked potatoes. Uh, Maureen, Maureen also wanted some more donuts. Uh, we got some tomato puree. That's what we forgot for the pasta the other day. Um, Matt's protein yogurts. And a big bag of these chips. Now, chips have gone very expensive. Uh, so we've bought these kind of cheaper ones. Uh, toilet wipes and we also forgot these chopped tomatoes so we got some and all of that came to about 18 pounds or something of that nature how are your ears feeling you just put your own text in uh, I, I didn't i was uh, i was an idiot and put them in both ears at the same time oh so now i can't move i thought it was just one ear no it's both um, oh, Boa's come in early tonight because it's gone very cold. I've actually got my big thick Udi on. Um, I don't think you want to go out because you've not been enjoying it, have you? No, you haven't. Rory's just gone out because Rory doesn't mind. Rory likes the cold. You don't. Matt's cooking dinner. We're having the same kind of pasta we had before, but with the right ingredients this time. <laughs> Not knowing why that pulled over. Yeah. You can't hear anything. So. Oh, Matt can't hear a thing. His, his ears are all blocked. Yeah. Anyway, is it less painful though? No. No. You may have to go to the doctor. Who knows? Yeah. Anyway, that is tonight's tea. And that is the end of the week. I'm going to sign out because Matt's cooking and he can't hear anyway, so... <laughs> Thank you for watching this week. I know it's been a little bit boring. It's been a little bit boring for us too, really, because we haven't really gone anywhere or done anything, apart from we went out for our walk, which was quite nice and refreshing, and we enjoyed taking you along with us. I feel like it's a little bit of a quiet before the, the calm before the storm, because obviously we are launching our business on the 30th of this month, so not long to go. It's very exciting. We're still busy setting things up behind the scenes. Um, which is why we haven't really gone anywhere and we have been kind of valuing our quiet time at the weekends and in the evenings. Married at First Sight UK starts tonight, so we're going to be watching that on TV. We've just finished watch watching all the Jane McDonald in Japan. There's a few other things starting. I think Bake Off is coming back very soon. There's a few... Th telly is... Winter telly is getting better, so do let me know in the comments section below what you are looking forward to watching. I think Strictly starts soon. Um, yeah, there's, there's lots of things picking up. 
Um, next week, what are we doing? I, again, I think it's going to be another quiet week. And then obviously we go pretty much straight into the business and that's what it will be. And of course, we'll be vlogging the whole thing. So don't worry, we are not stopping vlogging. Also, thank you so much for all the patrons uh, on Patreon who attended our 7 p.m. on normally a Thursday uh, chat. I will leave that link if you want to join. Pretty much we speak for almost 45 minutes to an hour every week. Bonus chat uh, where you can talk and ask us anything, but you have to follow the link. So thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, hit that bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from us, to you all, and goodbye.